So the May 2024 Visa Bulletin is out. And guess what? Major advances in all family-based categories. We'll talk about that and what to expect next. So I'll see you on the other side. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters with short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. And in this video, we'll explain the May 2024 Visa Bulletin. Very exciting news for family-based categories. We'll talk about which categories advance and by how much, and also give you some predictions for the next few months ahead. Also, we'll cover the employment-based categories, not too much movement there, but also very important to understand what's going to happen in the next few months. As always, if you need help with your immigration matters, make sure you stay and watch this video all the way until the end. If you need help, please send me a text 619-483-4549 or go to www.immigrationasap.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. And now let's jump into the video. As I mentioned to you in the beginning of this video, not too many changes in the dates of filing for the family-based petitions and no movement at all for employment-based categories. However, quite significant movement in the final action dates for family-based categories. It's so important that I made a separate chart for you guys so we can go over those changes one by one so you can see what they are before I go through the charts like we do every single month. So let's look at the highlights of these changes that are going to happen in the May 2024 Visa Bulletin. So, for example, you can see that for category F1, um, Mexico will advance by 5.5 months to October 15, 2001. This is a five months movement forward, which is quite significant. And I mentioned to you before in my predictions that you're going to see a movement forward after April of 2024, moving through summer of 2024. You're going to see a lot of movement in family-based categories specifically. Moving to F1 category for the Philippines, this will remain the same at March 1st, 2012, but we expect more movement in June and July. F1, all other countries will advance by 4.9 months to July 8, 2015. This is almost five months movement forward, which is quite significant if you look at the Visa Bulletin historically. Moving to F2A category, I know a lot of you are waiting for this category. F2A Mexico will advance by 2.8 months to November 8, 2020, almost three months. And again, I feel like it's going to keep moving forward as we enter the summer of 2024 and beyond. F2A Philippines will advance by 8.7 months. 8.7 months is quite significant for F2A. And I know a lot of you guys from the Philippines have been waiting, and this is the right time for this to happen. 8.7 months to June 1st, 2021. F2A, all other countries will advance by 8.7 months to June 1st, 2021. So all of, you know, rest of the world also advancement of 8.7 months, which is quite significant. Moving to F2B Mexico will advance by 4.3 months to March 1st, 2004. Rest of the world will advance by 4.3 months to April 1st, 2016. Again, almost five months advancement in this category. F3 Mexico will advance by 10 months to July 22nd, 1999. 10 months. We haven't seen such advancements for a while now, and this is quite significant. F3 rest of the world will advance by three months to January 1st, 2010. F4 worldwide in China will advance by 1.4 months to July 22nd, 2007. Again, it's quite significant if you look at the overall movement of these categories. F4 Mexico will advance by 3.3 months to January 22nd, 2001. And finally, F4 Philippines will advance by 2.8 months to September 8, 2003. Now, like I said, these movements are quite significant. And that's why I want to kind of break it down for you in a separate chart to really understand how interesting this May 2024 Visa Bulletin is specifically for you guys in the family-based categories 
that have been waiting for so long. So as you can see, quite of a significant advancement in most family-based categories for the final action dates, which means it's quite significant because a lot of people who are waiting overseas, they depend on the final action chart because if you're based or outside of the United States and you're waiting for your visa appointment, if your dates are not current, then NVC is not able to send your case to an embassy for them to schedule an interview. And of course, those people that are waiting overseas, they rely on the final action dates chart, which is obviously significant for us. Now, if you're inside the United States, USCIS also released their visa bulletin chart. And for them, just like last month, if you're family-based, you rely on the dates of filing chart inside the United States. If you're employment-based, you rely on the final action date chart, which is adjustment of status for those of you that are filing for their adjustment of status in employment-based categories. Now, you ask yourself, why is this happening? Why do we see this major movement in family-based categories specifically? Well, again, it's a combination of many factors, and we talked about it in previous videos. More and more embassies are now ready to take on more interviews. They're opening more and more slots. You're going to see that also impacting the National Visa Center backlog report. You're going to see more and more cases are being sent to embassies for interviews. And as a result, because our more dates are going to be current, they're going to be getting ready for more interviews. You're going to see that as well. Also, on the family-based side, it's time for this to happen. The backlogs are very significant. Right now, we're going to see almost a trend to try to move visa numbers forward. We no longer have a deficit of these family-based numbers, and they're trying to come up with as much as possible efforts to move those cases forward so applicants that are in the backlog, applicants that are waiting, are now going to be able to be scheduled and use those current dates to be able to finally get those visa interviews. Now, on the employment-based side, it's a little bit different. On the employment-based side, we haven't seen too much of a movement forward. It's kind of like almost like stagnant. It's moving slowly. And right now, I want to go through the final action dates of the employment-based chart so you can see where we are in May of 2024. So right now, we're looking at the final action dates chart of May of 2024, employment-based. And let's just go over it now. We see that Category first, EB1, is still current for the rest of the world, and it will remain current probably until the end of the year. We can see that China remains at September 1st, 2022. India is at March 1st, 2021. Mexico is current, and the Philippines are current. So if you are planning to file your green cards under the EB1 category, make sure you do so before the end of the summer. We don't know what's going to happen the rest of the year. Now it's current. Take advantage of this opportunity. Moving to second category, EB2, the rest of the world is now still at January 15, 2023. And China is at February 1, 2020. India is at April 15, 2012. Mexico is January 15, 2023. And the Philippines is January 15, 2023. Um, we don't think that EB2 is going to move anything faster in the next couple of months. So you're going to see probably the same numbers in the next month as well. EB3, third category, the rest of the world is November 22, 2022. China is at September 1st, 2020. India is August 15, 2012. And Mexico is November 22, 2022. And Philippines, November 22, 2022. Again, even for the EB2 categories, we're going to see a steady movement forward, but not too much of an advance like we've seen in the family-based categories. EB4, rest fourth category in November 1st, 2020, the rest of the world. Um, China is November 1st, 2020. India is November 1st, 2020. Mexico, the same. And the Philippines, the same, November 1st, 2020. Again, this is a category that is kind of stuck, and I don't see it moving anywhere before September of 2024. And for EB5, still current for the rest of the world, especially if you're unreserved. Uh, China is December 15, 2015. India, December 1st, 2020. And Mexico is current. And um, Philippines is also current. So as I, as I mentioned again, um, unfortunately, we're not going to see too much movement on the employment-based side, but we'll see definitely very active 
and exciting moving forward in the family-based categories. And again, as I mentioned to you before, and we looked at the chart breakdown that I gave you, we've seen movements that we haven't seen um, for months, um, so much movement in some of these categories, which is quite exciting, obviously, for those of you, because you've been waiting for a long time to, uh, to get these updates and to see some movement in the family-based categories, specifically in the final action dates chart. Once again, I wanted to bring back um, the summary that I made for you guys about the movement of the family-based categories in this particular bulletin. I think it's really important for you to see it. Um, and not just jumping into the chart because I wanted you to see really the, the numbers, how far we moved. And again, I wanted to kind of um, reiterate that. So just give you some examples. Um, you know, we went through this in the beginning of this video, but look at F F1, the rest of the world. We have 4.9 months of moving forward. Look at F2A uh, Philippines, 8.7 months forward. Look at F2A uh, rest of the world, 8.7 months forward. And guys, remember, we, I told you that State Department is doing a lot of efforts to move the visa bulletin. They're, they're trying to make an effort to, you know, advance the backlog, trying to do whatever they can to open more consulates, open, get more staffing in there. You know, whatever it takes to get this backlog out of NVC, and it will be reflected in the chart. Um, again, we still have a long way to go, but this is very encouraging to see that we have so much movement forward, especially in the in the family-based categories, which a lot of you are waiting for these updates. And we're trying to give it to you as soon as we hear them. Um, you know, look at F2B, 4.3 months in Mexico. Look at um, um, F3 Mexico, 10.4 months. These are numbers that, again, it's exciting to see it. And I'm really hoping, and these predictions are that you will see these movements moving forward um, as we continue um, in the year. So June 2024, July 2024, I do believe that we'll see even further movements in the family-based categories. So overall, a very good visa bulletin for May 2024. Nice movement for a lot of these family-based categories. Not too much for the employment base, but not to despair. We'll see some good movements also in the summer of 2024. Once again, hopefully you enjoyed this video and the summaries that we do. We also have a full blog that discusses this entire uh, movement in depth. We link to the blog in the description of this video. As always, if you need help with your immigration matters, send me a text 619-483-4549 or go to www.immigrationasap.com and leave your information there. And one of our team members will contact you ASAP. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on our next video.